Let's get your uh, asses out of your seats for a Tim Shea Tuesday, everybody. Tim Shea. We're back. Up? We're back. We're back. Where, where you been? You were my Ed McMahon, and now now it's like you don't oh, even wear the You know, the Packers played Monday, and so we couldn't do Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday happened, and you just I mean, move more on. than that, I mean, you used to be on every show. You're driving around. I, mean, I know. I out just, with the people. It's like, it's like we wrote you off almost. I, uh, well, you kind of did, too. You know, you told me, don't ever come back. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you that, but to protect my public image, pretend that I didn't. Yes, yes. Oh, we're kidding. Did yes. you see the new menu at Tupelo Honey? I have not. We need so to go there. You, well, I need yeah, to go there. we went there as a date. Uh, yeah, but we need to go back. Well, if you go back between now and Christmas Eve, they have a brunch. Okay. And you put Bart Winkler show 20% off in the notes. Mm-hmm. You also get a VIP reservation oh, menu. Look at that. So you get your choice of an appetizer. Uh, did I see fried pickles? Fried pickles. Oh, nice. Wow, you're so hungry you can even see words real quick. <laughs> fried pickles, spicy cauliflower, cali, cali. Do you say cauliflower or cauliflower? Uh, cauliflower. Uh, crispy Brussels sprouts, famous fried green tomatoes. You can get a free appetizer, or you can get a free dessert. So you can pick one, and then and then I'm gonna be like, well, I'm looking at both. I might as well. You might as well throw that dessert on here too if I can get that heavenly banana pudding. <laughs> so it's a two below honey downtown Milwaukee next to the public market. Well, not next to it's there's a big giant highway spur in between it. Oh, here we go. May I suggest the chicken and waffles? Delicious. Those did look very good. Um, last We're, time I was you were on, uh, yeah, lots happened. Well, I want to try to get three packer shakeaways from you, but. Last time I asked you for shakeaways, you were not prepared. Yeah, I guess, you know, I got called out, too, by uh, Paul was very whoever, upset. Paul, whoever he is. Yeah. Whatever. Do you, I, do I mean, you, should I pause it, and then you can write some down, and then we'll rejoin, or could you come up with three Packers shakeaways? I mean, shakeaways? I probably could come up with three Packers shakeaways right now. The fact that, and so we're recording this right now, the fact that Joe Barry was not fired after the game is a very disappointment. He should, if I'm Matt LaFleur, I fire him. It is a very disappointment, yes. It it's, is a it's, very disappointment. It's, and, and you know what, I kind of compare it to the, um, I remember when, uh, what's his name was fired? Ned Yost, three weeks before. This is kind of like that time period where, you're playing for your lives right now. You have three games. So you, you still could make the playoffs. I know it's at a 30% chance, but you got to change something now. If you Well, want you got to win out and then you need help. Yeah, you need you need Detroit to you, pretty much. You're not going to win out. I mean, if if they let Bryce Young carve us up with Jonathan Mingo, we're fucked. And I know that I said the last time I was on, I kind of hinted at, I don't think the Packers are going to beat the Giants. Remember when I said that? Oh, and you said, oh, yeah. no. Don't don't bring the bad juju in. Well, it would have been better almost if we would have lost to Detroit and Kansas City. And then when... And then beaten New York and then beaten Tampa. Because <laughs> this way it's like, well, what what, what are we? Because we were thinking we were thinking we were good, good. I, I fell into that trap. Well, the offense, I think the offense, you know, one of the things with the season is it's it's gone pretty much what we thought it would go it's there's mm -hmm. they're they're gonna win somewhere in between the seven and ten range they're gonna be eight and nine again they're gonna be eight and nine again sure with a quarterback that you're trying to figure out what is he you're trying to figure out like the receivers at a great game on sunday uh and every week it's somebody new like tucker craft mm -hmm. octavian wicks Jaden reed it's a different guy mm -hmm. that's showing his worth that he belongs and the defense has just been a problem. And I didn't think that uh, LaFleur would come out and ju fire Joe Barry right away. And I still don't think he will no, until he the won't. end of the season. He won't. But I'm even like, I'm even like worried about that because it, it's like LaFleur looks at this. He looks at this painting and says, this is a shit painting. And then they go, well, is the painter bad? He goes, no, no, the painter's my friend's son-in-law. <laughs> he, he like can't connect that the work 
is because the guy stinks. He's got to get those. He's got to take away the friendship out, or else pretty soon he'll be out of a job then. But they really, they didn't even really know each other before. I, that's they the problem. Just... Everyone's like, oh, they're best friends. They're best friends. They weren't friend like together, right? Like, no. they weren't buddies. It would be different if it, this was his brother. Yeah, it really sucks. And then did you see... Uh, Just so annoying. Did, did you see the big Instagram news? No. Did I, did I miss Sunday something? Night, on did I miss something? Well, maybe. On Sunday night, Jair Alexander deleted all of his Packers Instagram posts. I did not see that. Yeah. And now some are wondering if this whole injury is a protest to not play for Joe Barry. The conspiracy theories are out. I don't mind it. I mean, Joe Barry had this guy not cover Justin Jefferson for a whole game. So, jeez. Oh well, yeah. Or put a linebacker on him. Who was who was the linebacker? What when? What game was that? When? Well, we had one game where it was Preston Smith. Yes. Lined up on Justin Jefferson, yes. but then it was against Tampa where we had Devondre Campbell on Chris Godwin the entire night. We've seen him down the sideline. Couldn't even catch, can't, couldn't catch up. So shakeaway one is Joe Barry should be fighting. That should be one, two, and three. Well, you're and not like, getting out it, of two it, other shakeaways. It, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't come, it shouldn't come down to the end of the season, but it will. Uh, shakeaway number two, Aaron Jones and uh, um, AJ Dillon. So it was was the plan to like have one on the bench, one non active, and one active. Because like the, just all season? the minute the minute Aaron Jones became active, AJ Dillon was out. Yeah, and, when's the last time they played together? I, I I couldn't tell you. And Kenny and Drake, what are we, stop? <laughs> I like that we get we pick up these guys like <laughs> James Robinson, and then he has one carry. And you're yes, like, get off my team. And then yes. uh, Kenny and Drake had one carry, and you're like, nope, get out of here. So the last game that Jones had played before this was against was, the Chargers, and, and Dylan AJ, played then. Did he play in that game? Okay. Yeah. It just seems like when one's out, the other plays and fight other way around. So, whatever. I mean, it'd be nice to have those two. To see well, and then Jones had like forty yards, Tim, on the first drive, and then they just yeah, like then he th then he vanished again. Yeah, it made no sense. Uh, all right, so running back take. That's good. That's good. That's good for Paul. We got we got two shakeaways. We, we got, got a, two. We got, a, we got a juicy Joe Barry take, and we got a we got a running back inquisitive conversation. So we just need from you one more of these Tim Shea takeaways, which we call shakeaways. A little, a little, a little disappointed in the uh, in the uh, special teams yesterday. Was was. Yeah, yeah, there were some kickoffs that that he could have returned. You want Nixon that... to take the ball out more? Yes. Oh, no one's ever said that. No, I no, I do. I think he's. I mean, I thought I thought he was going to have a return yesterday. I really did. Hmm. Where'd you watch nice return? Game. Good job with the shakeaways. So that's. I'm just a little disappointed in him because I I, I think that's get that gets the offensive going. Believe it or not, he can get the offensive going. He can get the offense going with, you know, I, I know, I know not every, you know, it's like one out of 10 <laughs> that he has a good return, but uh, where did I watch the game yesterday? In West Dallas, not at Danny McGuire's. He's closed Christmas party on Wednesday, by the way. He's closed. They closed down. He closes. No, 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 no. He was closed for the Packer game because there's, so it's, it, yeah, he, he doesn't open for noon games. Because there's a lot of activity right there on the street. There's a church right across the street. So it takes up all his parking. He doesn't open because there's a church? Well, and he doesn't want to be open for, you know, that. No. What does this guy, like, do this as a hobby? It's a Packer game. You got to be open. And how many people are spilling out from church that would go right to the bar? That's what I told him. I don't want to be open for noon games. You live, you live in Wisconsin. You gotta be. The game's gonna be at four in the morning. You better be open, even if they can't serve alcohol at that time. You gotta be open. 
Danny. So he's yeah, he's never he's never open for noon games. It's very disappointing. What if it was a but, playoff game? Um, I don't think he'd be open. <laughs> this is the bar that threw XFL parties that won't be open for a fucking noon game. Yes, but his Christmas party is uh tomorrow, Wednesday, the twentieth. So so what does that mean? Didn't I go to that I last year? I feel like you did her a couple of years ago. You meant Holden and me there, I feel like. Yeah, and it was like eight people there. No, he gets a good showing for it, actually. For the Christmas party? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, but I was in West Dallas watching the Packer game with all disappointed people at the when when the uh, the 56 yard touchdown passed kind of deflated everybody. Uh, that was brutal. Yep. Um, all right, good shakeaways, good stuff. What else is new in the world of Tim? I think on the uh, podcast, you haven't been a part of our conversations where, well, uh, yesterday I was just yelling at everybody about the Packers. Yeah, I'm kind of caught up now. I, you know, I, uh, I have to, uh, I have to, we're going back a few shows now. I have to agree with Jake on his take on Toby, just, uh, um, the whole Florida state he's bashing Florida state. You know what? Jake was right. Do you remember what he said about Toby? Toby, Toby's teams, all his teams, football, baseball, basketball, they all suck. So he's just taking it out on other teams, other other people. No, Toby, who's he taking note on? We want Florida State in. Wasn't he wasn't didn't he say something to uh um who's Florida State fan? God, I can't think of his name right now. Um, oh Matt in the, Matt Falls. In the Falls. Yeah, yeah. yeah didn't yeah, he say yeah. something? Didn't he say something? Yeah, but Toby, Toby is Toby and I have had many discussions. If if Toby and I text, it's usually about how we hate Mark Jones, the announcer, um, <laughs> and how we think Florida State got fucked. Then why was he bashing on? Because well, you know it's the it's the Bar Winkler show. You, you you rib, you take you you do do do. You know. All right. Well. I think Florida State should sit out that game. I uh, I would not be. I would. I I said from the beginning. I said practice all week. Go to Florida, have the fun, and then don't show up to the game. Go back home that morning. <laughs> because if they lose, everyone's gonna shit on them, and if they win, mm-hmm. people are gonna discredit them. Mm-hmm. And if they win, they're gonna be like, "Make us a national champs. We won." Yeah, and they'll be like, yeah. "No, you suck." I hope the Michigan Alabama game is one of the worst football games that we ever see. I don't care who wins. I just hope it's a shitty game. Um, well, the, the theory would be that you have Michigan win like fifty-six to nothing. That would be fucking amazing. Then and then ESPN just... can. I mean, that this is. I, I do blame ESPN a lot for this. I blame ESPN a lot for the way that college oh. football is. I blame Fox also. Fox, you know, ESPN's doing with the SEC what Fox is doing with the Big Ten. Yeah, and... but Fox also shares the Big Twelve too. So. They're not fully 100% biased. Where ESPN the other day had a full on like three hour schedule release for the SEC. That was sickening. Do you know that did better numbers than the NFL schedule release? Shut up. More people watched. And there was less information given. It was just like the weeks of the year. And a lot of weeks we already know when teams play. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Alabama's coming to Wisconsin. You know what? Good. I'm, I'm so glad ESPN doesn't get that a game. You know, I like I like I like uh, college football a lot. I like it a great deal. What I don't like is anybody who likes it more than the NFL. True. And I'm talking about SEC country. Like, yes, because that's all they have. They don't have Alabama doesn't have an NFL team. No. Like a show like this, a show like this. If if the Packers were an SEC country, a show like this. I would never have to apply for a credential. They would give me five. <laughs> like the Falcons and the Saints and Jacksonville, everybody in that area, they're like, please come cover our team. Mm-hmm. We will pay for your entire day and give you all the food you want. Very disappointing. You mentioned Jacksonville. Very disappointing showing by them on Sunday night. I disagree. I had a lot of Ravens draft kings, and I had a bloodbath of a weekend, and so the Ravens bailed me out because – there were a couple of things that I knew would happen this weekend. I knew the Lions would roll. Mm-hmm. I knew the Ravens would roll. And I knew my Cowboys. Well, I got that one wrong. 
your Cowboys got killed. I also thought the Packers would roll. I thought they would too, honestly. That's why I'm like this. This one upset me. The Giants one was just frustrating, and whatever you move on. It no, the Giants like, one, it, like I had anxiety after. It feels really, like we really. can't. It feels like we can't beat the Giants now. And the Tampa Bay one was just that was garbage. That was that one. I'm more mad. What if they lose to Carolina? <laughs> uh, it's going to be a bad Christmas Eve. Now Carolina got their win out of the way, hopefully. Yes, they did. Nine to seven, right? But there are there are some Packer fans who not only want the Packers to lose to lower themselves in the NFL selection process. Here we go again. But if we beat Carolina, it actually ruins the pick that the Bears could get. Or if Carolina if beats Carolina them. beats the Packers, yes. Yeah. Yes. So some Packer fans, and I and I say to that, worry about your own house. This is what yes. I always say to Bears fans. You got to worry about your own house. You obsess too much about Packer fans and the Packers in general. And for Packer fans to be looking at a game in our in our yard and think, how can it affect Chicago? I think that we we are above that. We are the Green Bay Packers. Look, I know some of you are a little older than me and you live through some tougher times. And I'm still not like I'm now spring chicken. Okay. 40 years old soon. So, but in my life, I know the Packers is a team that, you know, they're, they're, they're not, they're not shitty and they don't act shitty. They don't, they don't care about draft position. I know. I know. They don't try to lose. They don't rebuild. They don't tank. Okay. That's what I know. It was this time last year. Maybe I'll uh, go back and look at some old uh, where I was desperate for the Packers to lose. <laughs> I wanted them to lose to Miami so bad on Christmas Day because <laughs> of Rodgers. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> oh, I remember watching the game. I was like, I was with my Bears in laws, and they were like, this is weird. You're rooting for the same thing we are. I go, yeah, because I fucking hate Rodgers. No, he might play. Yeah, he might play on Sunday. That'd be crazy. Hope he does. My poor sister-in-law uh, tore her Achilles last week. She just had surgery. So good luck to her and her recovery. Wow, what'd she do? She was coaching basketball. In a practice, just running the wrong way, took a step and as while coaching, yeah, yeah. Did you hear um, that I'm that I went to the gym? I did. Congratulations! Should so now I... it's going to be several days before I go back because I cannot walk. Do you uh, do you get um, like you know free friends to come with you? Maybe I'll come join you. You and I working out together? Yes. God. <laughs> the place was shut down. Maybe we can do a Bart Winkler show from there. From Anytime Fitness? Yes. <laughs> the hurry up. <laughs> I got a... Dude, gyms have changed since I last went to one. I got an app now that tells me how many people are there right now. Mm -hmm. uh, one to three. Okay. I also, my pass is no longer, I don't have a fob. It's on my phone. Very nice. Yeah. So. Well, good for you, Bart. Yeah. Um, real quickly, I don't think we've talked. The Badgers have a New, Year, New Year's Day Bowl. I know it yep. doesn't. I know it doesn't really mean anything, but hey, New Year's well, Day. Well, what's bowl, fucked that, up about nice. college? I wonder, like next year with college, if the bowl games. I don't. I don't think they're really going <clears> to <throat> matter. Well, they won't. But in, in the in the playoff system, I think the season will be better because there will be more games that matter, mm -hmm. and it will be it will be fun. But what I'm worried about is, and you saw the backup quarterback Murphy from Texas transfer enter the portal, whatever. He's probably not going to play, but still. They're in the playoff. But if teams are going to decide that right after the season is done, that's when the transfer portal happens, 
if you've got these players that, I mean, you like like a Kyle McCord from Ohio State, so he goes to Syracuse, big deal. But if Ohio State's in the playoff, is like the eight seed. Is McCord going to say, "Well, I'm going to I'm going to play," and then if he wanted to transfer, is he going to be like, like, because then you're not going to where, where are you going to be left? Because all the all the schools that need quarterbacks are going to get these transfers from the other schools, not in the playoffs. And then if you do want to transfer. Maybe they have the maybe they have the open period a little later. Slide it. A well, they bit. have to, and I but I don't yeah. know how, who changes that. The NCAA. Is there a guy in charge? I mean, I don't know. And right now, you have a guy that Wisconsin brought in. They, you know what? From LSU. Yeah, technically, they say it's 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 open for like fifty days. And it's and it, I don't think they move it. I don't think you can move it because it opens the day the re, the day after the regular season, the day after the championship games happen. The regular se- the season ends, so he'll have to wait to enter it. If you're in what the what do you think about Tyler Van Dyke? Eh. He doesn't run. That's why it's an interesting. That's why it's interesting that he wanted to come here. He's not a running quarterback, and I feel like we need someone like a Tanner Mordecai. Why he sucked? Well, he can run, and the running opens the passing game. Last time I checked. What is your most controversial college football take? (laughs) I should totally go against everything. That I said earlier, but Florida State shouldn't be in the playoff. It, it was correct. <laughs> um, Georgia mine's a, little, should, mine's a little dirtier than that. Georgia should be in the playoff. I mean, like overall. Overall, like mine's a little dirtier. Uh, that one day, th- this college, whatever NCA college football, whatever you want to call it, will be the minor leagues for football. That well, the, there N- are. the NFL will run it at one point. I don't think and- they want to. They can do all this with no with no financial cost. It, it takes it takes zero. Like when you got hired, like it cost the company money to hire you. Mm-hmm. It, it cost the NFL nothing to get a free workforce every year to replenish. That's why they won't play on Saturdays. I think that I I mine is mine mine un- angers people. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not trying to take away what this means, what the programs mean, what the institutions mean. I just don't think that Army Navy should have their own day. Oh, geez, Bart. What? Seriously? Why? Why? Why do they get Stop. their own day? The game doesn't count in the standings, or else. No, who won Army? Yes, they would be. So in they the, got the, six wins, and they they're not in a bowl game. They have five. This game does. I don't. I believe this. Well, technically, who knows? But it doesn't count for the bowl, and then they're in the same conference now. Okay, but it's going to be a non-conference game. They, they they shouldn't play their own weekend. Oh, Lord. And I don't know with the college football playoffs if they're going to be able to. Because if you have conference championship weekend and then Army Navy weekend, then you're playing on like. The twelfth, the nineteenth, Christmas, and New Year's. Okay, I guess you can. But now, now you're going to add four. Some of these schools might have to play four games if you win a title. Division two, division three, one double A, whatever you want to call it. They do it. Yeah. So what's wrong with these guys doing it? Give Give Army Navy. I just I always just wish I'm like, hey, there's a game on, and then I wish there was another game on. You give me you give me football for 14 weeks where it's 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 a.m. and then I get one game and it's Army Navy and it's like we love how shitty the teams are because they sing at the end. I told you not a take that I'm taking to the national airwaves. You should. <laughs> you I, get, I did tap. I did tap dance around it a little you, bit. You would get eaten alive. <laughs> I did tap dance around. I'm always wait. See the callers, the callers of CBS are very nice and respective. I'm st- I'm still waiting for a caller to be like, 
hey, fuck you, man. Because <laughs> in, in Milwaukee, doing the show for so long, you you would, I mean, people were, fuck, I, I, I got a lot of scars from that show. I got a lot of scars. <laughs> people were mean. People were mean. Just imagine if we were still there right now. Like, <laughs> oh, I broadcast from the studio again. Okay. Oh, so I was, I've been broadcasting for a year in one of the production studios. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But there was one Friday where it was a big deal because someone needed it to voice track. And then I, they set me up in the studio. So now I just broadcast in my old chair. Uh, I should come join you the next time you do that and i'll just sit in the room across just so you can look at me you won't do anything but well, i would i would appreciate that won't do anything why start <laughs> remember how i would sometimes leave my mic on when i answer the call or oh yeah i i, I loved your shittiness <laughs> what else do you want to talk bucks or anything i gotta yeah and then, yeah, the, the season does get underway on the 25th, by the way. Christmas starts, yeah. Yep. Bucks have the Knicks uh, twice. 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 Yep. Their final home games coming up in the 2023 year. Yeah, we'll be live after... Who the hell do they play? Spurs? Um, starting, the starting the 22nd, I have off until the 28th. So maybe I'll come chop on some shows. How'd you get all those days off? Christmas. Well, the 23rd and 24th are Saturday, Sunday. So I have, and then the 25th, there's, there's no news casts. Channel 12 still has a news cast. Live? Yep. Good for them. Four, 58, and 6 all have different programming. I believe, I don't, what are you guys showing, a movie? I was looking at the little uh, things. Uh, the Yule Log? No, that's Fox 6, Tim. <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't know what we're showing. Channel 4 is showing like a spelling bee, I think, or a parade. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we're showing a movie. And what about New Year's do you, New Year's Day? Well, do you work? We're full. Yep, I am working New Year's Day. Well, New Year's morning. So you got to be in at 2 in the morning, New Year's mm -hmm. Day? Why? Yeah. Well, we got to cover how many <laughs> dumbasses are driving out there. I suppose. All right. Well, you be safe. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Um, when I'm off, I will come join you on a couple of live shows. I'll maybe I'll join. Are you going to go live after the Bucks game on Christmas? No, I'm not going to do that. Are you going to go live on Christmas Eve after the Packers game? To be determined. All right. Can we get your uh, fill-in schedule here this week? The rest of the week at CBS. Are you doing anything? Any fill-in? You'll hear the so the next one will be Thursday night. Okay. Saturday afternoon. Oh. Nice. Uh, and then I'm not working for Christmas. So then I work the 28th and 29th. I will be doing the morning show. Ooh. Which I'm all, which like just knowing that I have to get up at 3 45 in the morning two weeks from now ruins my whole month. So I feel welcome to my world. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, Tim Shea, everybody. Tim Shea. Goodbye. I'm glad I could uh, give you my shakeaways. And I mean, if Paul didn't like your appearance today, he's just a hater. He just hates you. Yeah, that's fine. Just like flat out fucking hates you. Take it easy, Bart. Have a good week. Go Brewers. Go. <laughs>